Hi guys, I'm Shmi. Hello and welcome back to the channel. Now the Geneva Motor Show might have been cancelled, but that is not going to stop me being able to share with you some exclusives of the newest and latest cars, including this, the Audi RS6 by Mansouri. I'm out here at Mansouri's HQ to take a first look at the car. I'll show you around the modifications that they've made to it. We will check out the stunning interior that this car has, and then we will get it started up to take a listen to the Audi Super Saloon. This is pretty much a first for Mansouri, but let's check it out then, their Audi RS6. Let's take a look at this then, the new Audi RS6 by Mansouri. Now this car was due to have been revealed at the Geneva Motor Show, although sadly it was cancelled, but I've been able to come out here to Mansouri's HQ in Brand, Germany, north of Munich, to take a proper look at it and share with you all the modifications that Mansouri have made. Now the car is parked here in a photo studio alongside the workshop, but it's on a turntable, so let's get it spinning so we can take in everything that they have done with this. And just look, and how menacing and beastly this take on the new C8 generation Audi RS6 looks. This is actually something quite new for Mansouri, their first time working on an estate, but it follows customer demand, which is of no surprise given how popular the new RS6 is already proving to be. It's only the second time they've ever worked on an Audi car, following the R8 in the past, but this, as you can see, is quite a mean machine spinning around in front of us. On the outside, there are new parts to the body, a new look to the rear end with the diffuser and the exhaust. It's sitting on larger 22 inch wheels, different wheels you might notice on each side because of course this was the show car due to be on display at Geneva. Inside is entirely new. It looks spectacular and we're going to be checking that out in just a moment. And then as the front spins around too, we'll also talk a little bit about the engine because this car makes a whole lot of power. It is incredibly, incredibly fast. Zero to 100 kilometers an hour, just 3.2 seconds. But look at some of the modern modifications that are made to the exterior. The new look front end in its entirety, new diffuser, new grille, new flicks around the side, the new 22 inch wheels, very large wheels, housing behind them gigantic brakes and calipers as well. And then around towards the rear, a new lip spoiler at the top, also at the boot lid, and down at the back, the new diffuser, plus these really pretty cool exhaust tips that it has as well. So let me get the car stopped just for a moment so that we can come and take a proper look as well at the interior of it, because this is really pretty special. Come and have a look at everything they have done here. Completely head to toe, retrimmed interior on the RS6, and quite a few new things that they've incorporated as well. For example, the carbon fiber, have a look at these inlays. Have a look at that almost checkerboard weave that they've managed to create. Mansori always managed to create amazing, amazing carbon fiber weaves. And of course, all of this can be completely specified at the customer's demand. They've also introduced this, this pattern that you have in the foam insert on the door. Again, something new uh, introduced here. They've used Alcantara, Napa leather, you can see the orange accents as well for the piping, which match with some of the accents that you have around the exterior of the car on the wheels and the like. Then inside, the seats too, Mansouri embroidery on the headrest, the logo embossed here in the back, the quilting, the center stripe, the pinstripe, all of these details, all highly bespoke. Again, that diamond uh, foam that you can see on the armrest, this is really, really very nice actually. And also, obviously the carbon fiber inlays carrying all the way through across the whole of the dashboard, the door cards, the center console, and even down to the details here, the floor mats to match, the pedals, the three paddle set that you can see again created. And let's open up the bonnet too and come and have a look at this, the power plant behind the Audi RS6. So it's a four litre twin turbocharged V8. In the standard car, it makes 600 horsepower and 800 newton meters. This, thanks to the ECU tune, now makes, get this, 730 horsepower and a thousand newton meters of torque. Going through the auto gearbox, that literally through the Quattro system creates that zero to 62 miles an hour, 100 kilometers an hour time of just 3.2 seconds in a family estate car. This thing is a complete monster. Now I've been lucky to drive already one of the new uh, road cars, the standard cars. Just drop that back down. This is of course a different, different animal in entirety. In fact, I'm just gonna spin it back around. We do have soft clothes on the doors. So I want to show you a little bit more 
uh, around the front of it. So let's get this spinning to go through some of the exterior modifications in a little bit more detail, taking a look up close, starting around the front, which is made much easier by having a turntable, allowing us to see the car in all its glory and to bring the front around directly towards the camera. Now here you can see some of the changes, but to talk about the whole look actually, it is painted in the deep black. Of course, we have the orange accents, the stripes that run over the very top, the pinstripes that you have around the lower sections on the front splitter just here, around the wheels, the calipers, the side skirts, and also at the back, tying in nicely to the interior too. But it's also very, very stealthy. Gone are the chrome accents, the grille look, for example, the Audi rings now being painted in gloss black as well. But to come in and show you this, it's all been quite substantially changed. These new pieces added over the top of the grills coming down towards the bottom. Of course, here you can see you've got the radar sensors for the safety systems, the adaptive cruise control, etc. Also the camera here for the 360 uh, degree camera look. But the bottom, the splitter is extended. You've got this new piece down at the bottom. Around the side, you've got these canards and flicks that are added. Also uh, down towards the edges uh, of the bumper as well, sitting beneath the headlights. I'm going to talk about the headlights too. I've got the key just here. Because when you unlock this car and wake it up, they give you a really cool little light show as they illuminate. <laughs> which I enjoy quite a lot. Something I saw when I got to drive my friend's car as he took delivery. Because remember, these are brand, brand new. The new generation RS6s have only just arrived. So already having completed this package by Mansori here is something pretty special. Now to continue around the side, extended skirts that have been added. Then we get towards the back as well. Obviously back here, you've got the new spoiler up on the very top. You've got the lip here at the very boot lid. Uh, beneath the wiper and then down at the rear just to come and show you new look through the diffuser and these beastly exhaust tailpipes love what they've done here Mansori always creating interesting exhaust systems and that is by far and away no exception to the rule let's come through though and just get this i think started up so that we can take uh, a little listen to it so with the car open back on board here we will bring this into life, I think, with a bit of a, a kind of thunderous grumble from the V8. Well, even the door sills have that checkered carbon style. Let's take a step inside. Okay, let's, uh, let's turn on the ignition, wake it up. The screen's coming to life. Of course, it's all in uh, German at the moment. You've got the RS screens and things in this car, which are all really, really, really quite nice and special. Also like that Mansori logo that they've got on the, uh, on the center panel there, on the controls. So. Let's point the camera around the back, take a listen. Let's fire this into life. Oh, 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 oh. That is a powerful, powerful V8 noise that this car makes. A deep, deep grumble. Listen to that. Yeah, that's a nice sound. Burbling and burbling away. Exactly as it should be in a car like this. It's not a fully warmed up at the moment, but you can tell that that's going to sound pretty special. And obviously we also have the different modes. So in here, um, if you're in driving settings, oh, he says uh, you go to drive select. Uh, I'm not sure how all of this works. I need to learn it all. Obviously we're in German, or well, I we guess we can just press the hotkeys and go through drive select. You can put it into dynamic. You can configure the RS modes, which you can toggle using the RS mode selector just here on the steering wheel. But that's where you could have the exhaust open and making even more noise if that's what you wanted out of it. I'll just turn that back off for the moment. Ah, oh, the Bang & Olufsen tweeters, that's always something pretty nice. So they come on as we turn on the ignition. Yes, there we go. Love those, love those a lot. Just all the touches and details in here. Even the dashboard topper is done. Everything tying together really well. We've got the uh, A pillars and the roof headliner too. Sunroof partially open at the moment. It's all really well made as an interior package, even in the back of the car, just to show you. Even this completely finished to the same level as the front uh, with the trims on the doors, the top rolls, the inlays, the uh, door pieces and the seats as well, the whole bench at the back finished exactly the same as per the front with the seat belts too i didn't touch on those but again all details and all completely uh specced up you know for each car obviously mansori working directly with the customers to make you know the choice of carbons the choice of colors the choice of materials the choice of everything can all be fully specced when it comes to working on something like this uh, as can some of the exterior parts for example um, and this is the show car remember these pieces here you can opt to have them or have them without and just leave that flick that end plate this bit here 
sitting uh, afterwards. You can obviously choose the different wheels. So you've got this slightly narrower uh, spoke wheel design, the 22 by 10.5 wheel. On the other side, you've got the more multi-spoke to show you that directly. Different options that are available. You can change things. You can adapt it, adjust it obviously with or without stripe, um, dechromed or not, all of the kind of things you might expect to be able to do with a car like this. Just to show you as well, at the back, the tail lights, these actually have a similar light sequence to the front ones. So when you lock and unlock the car, the way they kind of dance around a little bit, which is really quite nice. I love those kind of features. There's a bit of a light show. Oh, they don't wake up in exactly the same way. Maybe because I've been locking and unlocking the car a few times, it just changes the way it's all behaving at the moment. But there we have it. The Mansouri full modification package for the new C8 Audi RS6, sure to be a very popular car amongst their lineup, alongside the likes of the Lamborghini Urus. But I hope you've enjoyed this first look. It might not have been at this year's Geneva Motor Show, but it's been great to come out here to visit Mansouri, to see the new car. So thank you very much to them for the opportunity. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. I would love to get out on the roads with this one day in the future. So stay tuned, do be subscribed, plenty more to come. Thank you very much though for watching guys. I appreciate your support and all awful lot. I'll see you again very soon. Cheers! <laughs>